Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another achievement guide in Human Fall Flat. There have been two new levels added to Human Fall Flat for this update, which are Golf and City. We're going to be taking a look at Golf in this video, and then I'll leave City for another one. Now for the Golf level, we have four achievements worth 120 gamer score. First up, we have Birdie for 40 gamer score, in which we need to only use the Golf Club to put in the ball at the beginning of the level, in three strokes or less. Next up, we'll take a look at Bogey, also worth 40 gamer score, and we need to take the alternate route above the cave. Then we have Mulligan for 20, drive the golf cart off the edge of the level, and lastly, Hole in One worth 20 for completing golf. So to get into the golf level, we're gonna need to go to Play, and then I'm gonna select Local, go down to Select Level, then Extra Dreams, and over to Golf. So when you first load in the level, you'll see a rack of golf clubs in front of you. Pick one of these up, and we're going to walk over to the ball on the tee. Now the flag is to the right of us, so we just need to hit the ball, swinging from left to right, and hopefully we get a good shot. Now I did manage to get this in one stroke, but if it does take you more than three, just go ahead and reload the checkpoint or restart the level since we are at the beginning still, and just try again until you hit the ball in in three strokes or less. I would recommend trying to get as good of a first hit as you can, because that's really going to set you up for at least the next two. Now. When once the achievement has popped, we're going to head through the windmill, and on the other side, jump onto the button that's on the white tee. A giant golf club will hit you in the back and send you flying towards the castle. Once you land, walk through the castle, and then we're just going to platform over these next two giant tees. Once you get to the next windmill, look to your right, and you will see a small puzzle that involves the lever in front of you. So before the ball reaches the first platform, pull the lever to the left, and it will tilt the platform down to the left. Next, move the lever to the right, and then as soon as the ball is falling onto the second platform, very quickly pull the lever back to the left again. This will place the golf ball in a little chute that brings it directly to the hole. Now this is where the bogey achievement comes into play, where we need to take the alternate route above the cave. Either before or during when the windmill is spinning, grab onto one of the blades, and we're going to jump off on top of the windmill. Now we just want to make our way to the other side of this grassy area, being sure not to fall into the hole in the middle. And then once you jump down to the other side, that will be the bogey achievement unlocked. Now if you're in this little ditch like I am, Walk around to the right so that you can climb up to the next windmill puzzle. So for this one, we just need to hit the golf ball into the moving hole. So once the hole is moving back towards the middle in any direction, after about a quarter of a way down its path, go ahead and jump onto the button. This will send the ball flying and into the hole and turn on the windmill. Once again, go through the windmill and we're going to platform over this tee and the roofs of these carts, avoiding the giant golf club. Once you get to an area with three golf carts, we're going to find the red middle golf cart, which should have a lever in it, and we're going to pull that lever all the way to the front of the golf cart. Now we're just going to keep holding on until the golf cart flies off the edge, and that will be the mulligan achievement. Once you have respawned, line up the red golf cart with the other two. And then we're going to take the box and use it to climb onto the platform behind us. Once we're up here, we're just going to do some platforming over the golf cart roofs. We're going to go through the driving range and into the next red golf cart with a lever in it. So push the lever forward to get the golf cart moving forward. Once the golf cart has stopped, we're going to take a right out of this cave, and we're going to start platforming over a set of three giant tees. Now, to avoid the giant golf clubs, we're going to wait until the first one passes us one time, and jump across the second tee, onto the third one where we're just going to hang until the second giant club passes us. Climb up onto the third tee, and then very quickly make your way to the next area. Now, for this last windmill puzzle, once the platform that is moving up and down is clear of the golf ball's path, go ahead and press the button to send the golf ball flying to the other side. Once it is caught in the corner of the other platform, we're going to wait until the platform that's moving up and down is almost to the bottom, and then we're going to pull the lever to the left.
Now we just need to wait until that platform is at the top with our golf ball and pull the lever quickly to the right. Once you see all the lights light up, we can head over to the windmill to the left and grab onto one of the blades. Now I jumped off on top of the windmill, uh, but there is a platform of planks that you can get off that's a little bit easier. Now we're just going to make our way to the right, swinging across with this club onto the golf cart. and then make your way inside the volcano. Platform across these two rocks and once again swing on the golf club. Just like in the thermal level, we're gonna wait until this vent is dormant and then climb on top of it. And then once it activates again, it will shoot us all the way up to the top. Head out the cave and to the left, and we're going to climb in either one of these giant golf balls. Roll your way down the hill, and that will pretty much be the end of the level, unlocking the hole-in-one achievement for completing golf. Well, that is pretty much going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.